Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Wednesday and this is such a powerful day with the 22-2 portal. You know the masculines are sending you that message today that they love you, they care about you, you're on their mind divine feminine. So we're going to bring in three powerful decks of cards. So we're going to bring in the DM's Confessions by Bridget Rowe. We're going to bring in the Masculine Mind by Blooming Arrow and this powerful Divine Masculine Messages deck by Angali. So thank you, angels. What's on the Masculine's mind today? What do they want you to know? They're gorgeous, beautiful, dynamic, divine feminine. And that's the word they give me, dynamic. That's how they see you. What's on their mind? What messages do they have for you today? And what do they want to confess? What do they want to confess? Wow. So I feel because this card jumped out through all of them, in front of all of them, this is the card. It's like this is the main message you need to hear today. And then these other cards are just clarifiers. And look at this. You triggered my spiritual awakening. You triggered my spiritual awakening. Do you realize how powerful that is? And because he jumped out of the deck and it flew across in front of all, it's like he's saying, I'm moving forward now in leaps and bounds. You've helped me to move forward in my life in so many powerful ways. You triggered something within me. You triggered an awakening in me. You've made me see things and understand things in a whole new way. You triggered my spiritual awakening. So if you're thinking about why things happen, why did this happen Maybe you're even going over the past and you're allowing it to affect you thinking, if only, if only I'd done it differently. If only I'd have said this or said that, we may be together now. Breathe and release any fear or any guilt or worry about the past because everything happened perfectly the way it was meant to for your soul growth and theirs. And you actually triggered their spiritual awakening. So if you're wondering why they've ghosted you or blocked you or pushed you away, it's because you've triggered something deep within them that needs to be healed. I will always forgive the mistakes you make. So you may feel that you've made a mistake in some way. Now that could be that maybe you've pressured them or rushed them in some way or said some things you don't mean or you regret. And he said, I'll always forgive you. I'll always forgive the mistakes that you make because mistakes are just lessons in disguise. It's the way we learn. It's the way we grow. And I feel he's really saying to you here, I hope that you forgive me. And I hope that you can forgive me because of the mistakes I've made. And families, this is you realizing if they can easily forgive you, then you can easily forgive that. As Jesus said, you know, if I can forgive the most heinous crimes done to me, then you can forgive what another has bestowed upon you. So I really feel this is a message about mutual forgiveness and you've triggered each other's awakening so you can forgive. Forgiveness is a power. It's a gift you give to yourself. And the masculines do forgive very easily and quickly. It's already forgotten. So I feel someone out there may feel like they've made a mistake or you may be taking something personally Maybe you're worried that you've messed something up in some way. And your masculine saying, I will always forgive you. The reason I come and go. So if they're back and forth in their energy or they're hot and cold or they're contacting you one minute, pulling back the next, or maybe they're ghosting you. He's saying it's because I just can't stay away. But I'm not ready to give all and I all that I know you deserve. So I run. So in other words, what he's saying is the reason I come and go. The reason I always contact you, the reason I'm back and forth is because I can't stay away. I can't stay away from you, Divine Feminine. We are magnets. We are one. How can I stay away from the other part of me? But I'm not quite ready to give everything yet because I know that you deserve so much and I want to be able to give you that. But I run because I hide away until I'm able to give that to you. So again, he's saying don't take it personally. It's not you. It's me. It's the things I've been doing and the things I need to heal. So please don't give up on me because I promise I will be back soon. And I feel that he's struggling to find the words today. He wants to. And that came up very powerfully, you know, yesterday and over the last few days where he's been saying to you, I'm trying to find the words. I want to show you this love, putting things in a draft message that he fully intends to send to you. 
So please don't give up because he's promising he's going to be back soon. And he said, I'm constantly battling myself about this relationship. That means his ego and higher self are having a fight. His ego is saying one thing, his higher self is saying another. The ego is ruled by the fear and the higher self is ruled by the faith. So his higher self is saying, come this way, do it this way. This is what you need to do. And the ego is saying, well, what if this happens? Or what about that? So he's in this battle. So this is why you have to be patient while he finds his way out and he finds a solution. And he said, I've closed down my feelings. I've quit love. So before you, and this is what I'm feeling, not now, before you, he'd actually closed down and quit love because he thought I'm never going to meet someone who can make me feel that special way but you've opened his eyes to the truth so you've triggered his spiritual awakening to what love actually is so he's saying I'm not going to quit on you because you haven't quit on me and I love that you can see my truth but it scares me too so he's saying you can see into my soul you see deep into me and that scares me even though I love that I love that you see beyond the illusion, beyond the physical, beyond the 3D, beyond the situation. And it's really powerful, you know, it's the 222 portal today. 222, which is about believing, getting ready, about the power of the love. And in this year of 2023, it's the way the masculine is showing you love. And we've had quite a bit quiet lately. There's builders next door, as you know, and you know, we've been at a lot of quiet. We've been very lucky when I've been doing the readings, but there's noise again today because there's breakthroughs coming again. It's like there's been a brief pause in action and now things are moving ahead. And I know you think I only care about sex, but it's not true. So if you're thinking, oh, he only cares about my body or he only wants me when he wants me or he only wants me for one thing, he's saying, look, I care about you, the person that you are body, mind, heart and soul. You turn me on body, mind, heart and soul. They're giving me fear. And he feels all this fear because sometimes he can't express to you in words how he truly feels. So he shows you through his body. He shows you through intimacy. He shows you through a flirt because it all gets stuck here when he wants to express and he says I just don't know how to share my emotions with words and they're giving me tear energy it's very painful for him to express himself in a way with words so he tends to show you sometimes physically first and he's saying strength you are so much stronger than me you know what you want and you know how to get it your beautiful strength is what holds us together so he's reminding you of your strength, divine family, that your strength triggered this spiritual awakening and that you are strong enough to get through anything that comes your way. Because he's saying, I want to honour you. I want to take the path that honours you. So I'm taking responsibility for my situation first. So this means he knows he has to release that karmic partner or release that addiction, or the fear-based energies that's holding him back and making him act crazy. He said, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to honour you because you deserve my love. And shadow work. So he's doing the work in the mirror to face his fears to be able to honour you. I'm facing my deepest, darkest fears, and I'm slaying all the demons in my mind. So he's getting rid of the fear. You've triggered the spiritual awakening. You've created some change in him that he now needs to honour. And he's saying, I'm spellbound. You have a power over me like no other. I'm constantly drawn back to you. I can't help it. It's so intense. All paths lead home. And he is magnetically and vibrationally connected with you. That means wherever he goes, whatever he does, he's going to find his way back. When you throw a frisbee, he comes back. When he goes away, he comes back. That's why. So if you're thinking it's over, he said goodbye. Is he ever going to contact me again? Yes, he will. Because he can't stay away, even if he's got you blocked. He's saying there's so much I have to express. So much I want to change. So much I want to do. But I feel stuck. And I want to take action. I'm trying to find a way. So if he's blocked you in any way, whether he's blocked you on social media or he's blocked you out of his life or he's shut down, he's saying, I want to take action. 
I am trying to find a new way because there's so much I want to change, so much I want to do, so much I want to express to you. And if you feel stuck, you're saying, please don't give up on me because I am doing the work. So big message today that you've triggered something in him to make a change. You triggered his spiritual awakening. And because of that, he loves you more than anyone he's ever loved. And that's why he's saying to you, you're the one. You know, he's saying to you, you're the one. You're the one that I love. You're the one that I need. You're the one that I want to honor. And I'm constantly battling about this connection because I know what I need to do. And I want to take the honouring path towards you because I'm spellbound. You have a power over me like no other. And that's why I'm drawn to you because it's so intense. So if he is backing away or blocking you or ghosting you, it's just the intensity of the love. It's nothing you've done wrong. In fact, you've done everything right because you've triggered his spiritual awakening. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.